what's going on guys clutch here with your mod hub update for farming simulator 90 we've got three new mods today two of which are for all platforms playstation 4 xbox one pc and mac one of them is only for pc and mac we'll go through that in a second we also have three new updates so three mods have been updated so we'll look at those quickly as well so guys let's dive into this and look at the new mods so let's start off with the hardy interactive sprayers now this is a set of two implements one is a mounted sprayer the other is a pull behind trailer style sprayer now you're going to get a uh, 35,000 115,000 24 meters i believe it's 36 meters for your spread on this one the big difference obviously is price on these you're only at 35,000 for the uh, mounted one the pull behind is 115,000 so a little more expensive as for options the only real option you're getting on these is colors now that being said there's quite a few it's quite a big option you can see over here we've gone with the red and yellow which looks kind of cool but more so look at the blue a blue and black uh, something totally different you don't get those colors so yeah totally customizable as far as colors go and you get an option for rim there is no other options however as far as changing tank sizes or anything along those lines they are all the same there. So that there, guys, is the Hardy Interactive Sprayers. And next up, something a little bit different, the Service Pickup Pack. Now, once again, this is a Lizard Pickup Truck. It is really a standard Lizard Pickup Truck. It has all the options you would expect there. It, this one does have a beacon on the front, and it does have some uh, rear lights. They all work just fine. But, I mean, this is a standard Lizard Truck, as you'd expect. However, it does have one other option, and this is a totally separate purchase point, and that is the fuel tank back here. So this fuel tank is purchased separately. You'll find it in the miscellaneous section of your store. It's 3,500 bucks. It holds 1,100 liters of fuel. Now, the interesting thing about this, let's just uh, place this back in the back of our truck here. Let's see if we can get it nice and close to the back without dropping it in. Just leave that there. Hopefully that stays. Awesome. Now, once it's kind of in the back, what we should if I bring up the menu, there we go. We are getting an option to install this tank into our truck. So much like any trailer, we hit whatever button it is that correlates to that on our controller. And now we have a tank that's permanently installed in the back of the truck. That's kind of cool, it's different. So it gives you an option to do that. Uh, once again, you can disengage that and it comes out and you can remove it if you like, place it on your farm, put it back in the back of your truck and you're good to go. It's nice because you don't need to actually strap it down. It acts as a uh, as a trailer almost inside your truck. That is very cool. So something totally different. Uh, I don't think I've seen anything quite like that on any of the trucks anywhere else yet, to be honest with you. That's neat. I like the uh, the option with this. The other thing, with it, there's no other options with the truck itself. You do have a fire extinguisher in the back, which is you know, something you don't see on the standard Lizard. It's a bit of an add-on, I guess. But uh, other than that, that is kind of the standard set for the service pickup pack. And the last thing we need to talk about for console is the Fed Fed Rate 509 510 was updated. Some changes to the model, the prices, uh, original tank, weight distribution, some very eh, somewhat basic changes have been updated to this mod. So that is going to do it for mods for console, guys. The rest of the mods we're talking about are PC exclusive. So uh, let's go take a quick look. Now, the only new mod we received for PC is the old Forage Wagons Tandem. Now, this is a fairly small uh, mod in a sense, but there are so many options with this mod. It's only one trailer. Its price is 25,000. It has a capacity of 24,500 liters, needs 60 horsepower, and works at six or 15 kilometers per hour. I was going to say 60. That seems way too high. Anyways, so not a lot to talk about as far as that, but there's so many options with these wagons that uh, you kind of need to look at it in the store. So this is technically the exact same wagon, but I mean, you can see right here, not even looking at the colors, there's quite a few changes as far as the top piece goes. Uh, the pickup itself is different. Tires, of course, are different. There's just quite a few different options you're going to find with these. So let's go into the store and we'll take a look at some of the different options that you can change here. So of course you're going to find this in the loading wagon section of your store. Now right off the bat you can see we have colors for change colors for rims, for main color and design. That is all customizable of course there. But the first thing you're going to notice here is you're going to have a change an option for your manufacturer. Now Crone, there's a couple different options there. <laughs> I mean only four. Uh, Gloss of course as well. Dudes. I mean, there's, I think there's 10 different company options you have for this. There's, so there's quite a few options there, as you can see. Uh, design pickup plate, you can see we can change that to a couple of different options. 
only five, no six. <laughs> uh, let's go down to the bottom here. Wheel options, not quite as many options, but still quite a few options here. I think we got five, five options between your wheels. Kind of crazy. Your roller pickup options, you have a couple different options here, four options, and that's just changing the front pickup. Uh, keep on moving down into grids. I think that is up on top here. There we go. So once again, you can change your color options on this a little bit. Uh, equipment options, what does this change? Oh, this is the top piece, there we go. So we have four different options, six, seven, <laughs> seven different options up here on how, how we want the, the top piece to look. Uh, and I think that is it, there we go. So you've seen all the options there. Like I said, there's an absolute ton of options. Now the colors, somewhat limited. They're not quite the full gamut of the lizard options you'd see. Wow, that's bright. Let's go with maybe just a green on green and then maybe do a crone, crone old. Anyways, you can see we have quite a few options here, guys. And that makes uh, this kind of a cool uh, pickup wagon. This was available in FS17. I really enjoyed using it then. So this might be one of my starting ones, definitely in FS19 for when starting out a farm. Not bad at all. And as for updates for PC mods, the Colossus 5300 Quadrant, uh, this was updated as well as the customizable letterbox and sign pack has been updated as well. Some pretty minor updates there. However, they have been updated nonetheless. So that is really going to do it for us today, guys. That is your mod hub update for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and of course, subscribe if you have not done so already. And other than that, we will see you next time. This is Clutch, over and out.